This is the only silver bullet strategy that you need to be using from today. It has a high win rate and you can apply it on any pair you want. I've shared it with a small number of people to test it out and they were so happy with the result. Make sure to stay till the end of the video as I'll be sharing some tips to get even a higher win rate. If anyone needs a one hour mentorship, check out the description. This is Molham and let's get into the video. So first of all, we're going to start with the basic stuff and those are so important too. First of all, the pairs. So what are some pairs that we can trade the strategy on? Basically any pair that you want. This strategy is specifically because it is based on inducement and liquidity and also fair value gap. And we know liquidity is the fuel of all markets and also fair value gap work on any market. Then you can use any pair. However, what I recommend using is NASDAQ and EURUSD, but mainly NASDAQ. If you just focus on NASDAQ and you try to master it, it's amazing. And all of the examples that I'll be given today, they're all on NASDAQ. So before going into the new strategy, there is an old strategy. It's based on fair value gaps itself. It's an easier one, not as advanced as this one today, but I do believe that the one that I'm giving you today has a higher win rate. So you can also go and check out the old strategy and then come to this one and pick the one that you prefer. This video is almost an hour and a half. It has a lot of backtesting. Hopefully for the strategy that I'm presenting today, I'll do a backtesting video too, a separate one. So as I said, make sure to watch the previous video about the old strategy and compare it to yourself, see which one you prefer and then go with it. Today's video is sponsored by Hanko Trade, one of the best brokers in the business with spread as low as zero low commission and you can trade all markets including forex indices and crypto and if you use the link in the description you will get an exclusive 100 percent bonus make sure not to miss it let's get back to the video so just very quickly what we used to do in the previous strategy or the old strategy is only focusing on the fair value gap mostly the first fair value gap on the silver bullet session and then we go with it however this is more advanced we focus on inducement and liquidity here so we have the silver bullet timing here. So I did uh, SB and SB. It means silver bullet timing because there is the PM session, uh, AM session of New York, and then AM session, or, you know, the silver bullet of the London session. The beginning of the silver bullet timing, the end of the silver bullet timing. What we look for is I prefer to see an uptrend or, you know, a break of structure to the upside. And then I do have a fair value gap here. I want to see a fair value gap. And then a low that is either above the fair value gap, and this is a bullish scenario, either a fair value gap above or inside. And then, you know, you can adjust the fair value gap to the unfilled part of it. Just, you know, mark the unfilled part of the fair value gap. So it's either above the fair value gap or inside of the fair value gap. And there is another part of the fair value gap that is unfilled. What we look for inside of the civil bullet timing is price taking the low inside of the fair value gap then going up so i want to see a sweep and all of this on the three minutes i want to see a sweep of the inducement or the low that has a fair value gap below and i want to see price going taking that low inside of the fair value gap then going up now when price comes to this fair value gap we need to see type of projection so either one of those types the first one is price taking the liquidity right so this is the liquidity level the same as this one taking that level of liquidity, immediately coming back into the range. When I see this, and this is a bearish candle, we can simply enter here. And even if it's a bullish candle, then we enter here, right? Because this is where the candle closes. So we enter here or here, and then simply price goes up. So this is the first type. This is what I want to see exactly right here, instead of the fair value gap and after taking the liquidity level. The other type is this one price closing below and then closing below maybe another candle maybe another candle there is no specific number of candles that i want to see closing below but i don't want to see price hanging around below the level of liquidity i want to see a quick rejection from there so another candle maybe another candle right here but then whenever price comes back into the range and there is kind of a displacement right here we can enter at the bullish candle the high right here so those are the two types those are the two types. This is what we're going to do here. So to summarize what's happening here, this is an inducement. This is an inducement level. It's a level of liquidity. And I prefer to see this after a clear record structure. Going over the steps in a written way, just to have something like a checklist. And it's written. So first of all, we identify the bias and draw in liquidity. And we can either look for those, you know, the draw in liquidity would be your target after uh, entering the trade. Then 
we look for a high or low that has a fair value gap above or below. Then we wait for price to sweep the high or low and comes back into the range in one of the two tabs that I already explained. And then finally, we enter the trade targeting either a fixed reward or risk. And I recommend 2.5 or 3R or any buy side liquidity or sell side liquidity or the drone liquidity that you already identified in the first step. Now, based on my back testing, 2.5 R is very achievable. A lot of times price goes much more higher or lower, depends on the trade if it's bearish or bullish. But sometimes it goes to 5, 6, 7 RR and sometimes 10 R. So it's your choice at the end. See if you are preferring a fixed reward to risk and based on your backtesting, what is the ideal reward to risk? Or you can simply be flexible with the uh, liquidity levels and the target. Now, what are the timings of the silver bullet? I know most of you guys are aware of this, but I should still remind you. So the London silver bullet is 3 to 4 a.m. The New York a.m. session is 10 to 11 and the New York p.m. session is 2 to 3. I know there are some silver bullet timings, new ones. But I only stick with those three because the more you have, the more confused you'll be. So if you wanted to trade the other silver bullet timings, the new ones that ICT introduced, you have the choice, but I don't prefer. Now, all those times and every time that I mention on my videos, it's all in EST, New York time zone. Now, going over the examples, this is the first example. And from this point, everything is going to be more clear. So we have the 3 to 4 a.m. This is the London silver bullet timing. We can see that price was going up. It left a fair value gap here and a fair value gap here. But I prefer this fair value gap. Why? I'll explain it at the end of the video in the higher win rate uh, section. So we have this fair value gap and we have a low. This low is part of the fair value gap. So price came into the fair value gap but could not displace above. I adjusted the fair value gap and this is only the infilled part of the fair value gap. What we see is at the timing of the silver bullet, what happened is this price coming lower, sweep this low into the fair value gap and closed up. In this case, I should have entered here actually because this is a bearish candle, but there is a mistake here. So I should have entered here. It's going to give me a better entry and then stop loss below the low and 2.5 r very easy and as you can see it went up and up more and more so this was a very nice trade as i said price is going up here it's more retracement and i believe this is the 50 percent of the range and we have the fair value gap the unfilled part of it price taking and sweeping the low inside of the fair value gap closing above immediately very good rejection we can enter from here targeting 2.5 stop loss is slightly below the low of the sweep Another example right here, what we can see is price simply going up, can be seen obviously. Price going up. Now, do we see a low that has a fair value gap below? Yes, we do. There is this small fair value gap that has a low and it was swept here. But even if you see it from another angle, we have this unfilled part of the fair value gap and we have this low. So both of those would work. As you can see, price sweep this and sweep this and then it closed above. This is the unfilled part of the fair value gap. Price immediately rejecting to the upside. We can simply enter here, stop loss below the low, and then going up. 2.5R and much more, as you can see. Another scenario here, and it's exactly the same thing, exactly the same scenario. And I think this is two days in a row, which the same thing happened. So what do we see here? You always ask yourself this question. Oh, do I see a fair value gap? And in this case, a bearish one that has a high below it and in this case yes we have this fair value gap and this is the unfilled part of the fair value gap and we have a high here what we do is we wait for a sweep of this high inside of the silver bullet timing this is the pm session of the new york what we see happening is price going up did not take the high yet and it did actually take this high and a lot of people would enter this but with this model that we are following now you're not going to enter that trade. You're waiting for this high specifically to be taken. It's taken here, price closing here. We can simply enter here, stop loss above the high and targeting 2.5. This is exactly 2.5. And what do we see here again? We can see that there is a fair value gap and we have a high. And this is out of the silver bullet session, but just to train your eyes, what do we see? Fair value gap, a high. It's taken here, price coming back into the range. You could have got another profit here. 
but this is not part of the model, but it's just to train your eyes. Now, another example, and this kind of different, this is kind of different, and you can also apply this if you want. I don't recommend this much, but since this is, you know, a fair value gap at the start of the silver bullet session, fair value gap here, what do we see? Price coming lower, went up, we have a high that has a fair value gap above. What happened is a sweep of that high, but this is not a fractal high, this is just a high. If I sweep this into the fair value gap and taking this high, which is the low of the fair value gap, this right here is a fractal high in the lower time frame. So on the one minute, maybe it's a it's a high, but in the three minutes, it's not high, it's just a part of the fair value gap. This one is kind of tricky, this example specifically, but you could also take it. So we have this high, if I sweep this candle high, going back into the range, you could have entered here. I just put this example to you know, show you that sometimes it gets tricky. You could have taken this or you could have just leave it, you know, and taken nothing. It's your decision at the end, but I decided to at least show you this so you have more experience and you could deal with all of the scenarios. So what is the scenario? Fair value gap. We have the high of the fair value gap and we have this high, this high, and then this high took all of the liquidity from here, then into the fair value gap going lower. And now we got to the part uh, talking about the win rate and how to improve the win rate by giving some small tips even that they are very simple and very easy to apply but they are going to improve the win rate in a very significant way the first one and this is the one that i will be giving in any strategy that i post about because it needs to be applied on every trade that you take any trade you take you need to apply this and it is that the trade needs to be aligning with the higher time frame bias and the order flow. And you also need to have a clear draw in liquidity that is aligning with the trade that you're taking. The other one, and this is I give a hint about in one of the examples, it is that a fair value gap inside of a silver bullet session is a high probability and it's a better fair value gap than one outside of the silver bullet session. So let's say that we have a fair value gap that has an inducement and it's inside of the silver bullet session. And we have another one that is outside. Which one would I be taking? I'll take the one inside of the civil bullet session, even if it's a previous one. So even if it's not a current one, but it's a previous one, and we have two fair value gaps. If the fair value gap inside of the civil bullet session is there, I would take it, and it's better to be the extreme one. So if it is inside of a civil bullet session and it's also extreme, I'll take that one for sure. Now, the last one is that it is a higher probability if the fair value gap that has inducement is the first fair value gap in the silver bullet session. So it's the same as the first strategy. If it's that type of fair value gap, then that's a high probability one. That's it for the video. You guys tell me in the comment if you want me to do a backtesting video about it. Make sure to like the video because I put a lot of effort, you know, making it simple this way. Leave a comment and share this video with your friends because I know for sure that is going to help them. Make sure also to join the Discord as we do some educational and I share my stuff there. And that's it for today. This is Molham and I'll see you in the next video.